I mean, I don't at this point, uh, you know, I, it's not my place to comment on, on other people's players. Um, but it's, I don't know. I don't know anything about the situation, so I, don't, I can't really categorize it or, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, yeah. How, do you, how do you process the 168 hours since Sam scores the goal? It's, there's a draft, there's free agency, there's a parade, there's moments with the cup, there's time with your family, there's the enjoyment of that moment. I don't know how you get through all of this um, sanely, if that's even a word. How, I, I'm not sure I, I went into it sanely. It is. How, just how, how much did it add? To, these are great problems to have, sure, but how much does it add to the difficulty of you're on this super high high and now you've got to make really tough decisions today? A lot of the, a lot of the contract and personnel decisions are, are contemplated through the year. Right, so you have your pro meetings and the, all the different what if scenarios. Um, there's there's curveballs and there's opportunities presented that you know you hadn't anticipated. Um, case in point, right, and that present themselves. And you know we do a little bit of fantasy hockey um, in the what if scenario, but for the most part, things happen and then you have to react. Um, there were surprises, so that part was okay. Um, just a lot of, uh, very little time. So um, maybe one good thing that will come of it is, I think we're becoming more efficient, and I thought we were pretty efficient, but, but there's decisions to be made and, and um, everything happening in a short order. Uh, yesterday was a little surreal, <laughs> you know. Uh, to participate in that uh, and see the effusive joy. Um, I think it was the Sun Sentinel. Someone read me, read me an article. Uh, what was the headline, Eddie? Okay. It was like the perfect six or seven words that anyone could ever come up with to describe the day. Uh, and that was weird because the whole time I'm working, like I'm, I keep looking at my phone, I'm looking at my watch, I'm. Uh, sorry. You had service? I have the quote. The title was, They are one of us. Florida Panthers unite community with unpretentious Stanley Cup goodwill tour. Oh. And wasn't that kind of what it was? And uh, so I thought that was a really descriptive, um, really accurate description of the day. Uh, and uh, my takeaway from that part was, probably sounds a little romantic or what have you, but I felt like that was the galvanizing moment um, for our players and our fans. Uh, the, the, the runner show ended, no one left, and everyone just kind of hung out. And there were all kinds of people, no one even knew who the people were, but everyone was happy and smiling and everyone was enjoying the moment. Um, and it reminded me, and the risk of overstating things, the, the relationship that you see in, in some of the European soccer clubs and their fans, right? I just got that feeling. Uh, and it, it's very special. Was there any moments, though, when you saw us like Brandon Montour doing something or, you know, guys that, Ryan Lomberg, guys that you knew weren't probably coming back or knew for sure they weren't. Like, like, did you say, man, I'm going to miss this guy, you know, for stuff like that or anything of the sort? Yeah, I, yeah. There's, I'm, I'm sure at some point there was, right, because they're all people and to be that close and to watch what they did and um, their contribution, it, it's really hard. That's a, it's not a fun part of the job. Um, it didn't really hit me in that moment. I was more impressed by everybody's joy and the family's. And the kids, and the neighbors, and the and that guy. I don't even know who that guy was, but he was in a good mood. I can tell you that. And and he was welcome. He was welcome to be part of it. Sincerely welcomed by every one of those players. So, uh, going back to last night, today mm -hmm. you get the Sam Reinhart deal. How like, I like. How close did you get to the midnight deadline, or was, or was that just kind of overblown, or was you, you guys really negotiating until 11.58? Was that a thing? So I don't even know. That's what they said. Oh. You had to have the paperwork. Because nothing had been out there. Everyone's like, oh, it's going right down to the water. 
I mean, it was, it was later. Um, he had a, I feel awful. He, like, I don't know all the details, but it, I, it's something like his best friend, you know, plan your wedding. Right. And it, yeah, for sure it's over. Remember that, I think the regular schedule said last day of the playoffs was the 21st. Like, yeah, we're safe. And um, so he, w he was not here. And um, I, I don't know. It was not a, like, it was not a thing for me. Uh, but I will say that um, you submit your contract to central registry. You dot the I's and cross the T's. But you make sure, like, it, it, okay, if there's an issue, they'll call you back. And I fell asleep in the chair <laughs> waiting. Uh, and, I, you know, and they only call you back if something's wrong, so it wasn't a big deal. No, but it was. Uh, so it wasn't a last second, like. No. Because everybody's no. like tweeting it, been okay. Well, Panthers, unless something is already filed, so we didn't know. Sam tweeted. No, no, no. Or no. Craig. All the insiders, all the NHL, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But we didn't know because the central central didn't give them the word. The, you know. I was hey, you can. I wouldn't know. I was asleep. <laughs> so. So it was. So it was. But done. Was, we're wasting time on that. Yeah, Sorry. How, so it was done. Just it was. It's awesome. It's it's uh, as as both Sam and I said all during the year. Look, we, we wanted to keep him. He wanted to stay. Um, we worked through the process. His agent was was a gentleman. Everyone was all uh, all with the intention of trying to, to take care of Sam and still have a uh, a chance to win. And that was paramount to him and his decision making, and, uh, and you know respect and happiness on that end. And uh, yeah, we're just thrilled, thrilled that he's a part of it. How difficult was the decision of Ryan Lowry? There, are, yeah, there. That's a, it's a it's a difficult part of the job, and it's easy to say you know well oh, it's part of the job, and it's really hard. I haven't I haven't spoken to him yet. I'm trying to to get calls in in between other calls. Um, it's it's a bigger thing. Then, I mean, in many ways, uh, you know, it's part of the family, all the guys, and everybody has a role. So it's, it's hard. Bill, on that though, whether it's Brandon Mons, Ryan Lomber, Kevin Sedlin, all these guys come here and they leave getting nice paydays and, and things <laughs> like that. Just at the same time, how happy are you for those guys? We saw with Gudis last year. Just what does that say to the organization where guys seem to come here and then whether it's here or somewhere else, they're, they're getting paid? I can tell you, like, Rodko is such a special person that when we're on the ice, the guys are saying, Goods is texting us, congratulations. And that, that's, and he's still, like, all these guys are still a part of things um, forever. Uh, it, it, one of our goals, apart from the sort of the family culture with the team, in trying to get players to come, and trying to get players to fit so we can have as many good players and good people as possible is the chance in the future, right, to really maximize your career. And so hopefully we can keep trying to have guys come, have, their, have that coaching staff pull the best out of them, have them be successful as teammates, as part of a, a team, and as individuals so that they can move on. So I can go to the next person and say, we might not have as much money as whatever other city, but we have opportunity. And if you take advantage of the opportunity, um, it's, it's, worked, it's worked well for a lot of people. For a guy like Kulikov, spends the first half of his career here, bounces around a lot afterwards, comes back, to be able to give him term, to be mm -hmm. able to give him multiple years, just for a guy like him to be able to get, get, get the four years and be able to no, he has some stability after how much he's bounced around the last few mm -hmm. years. It's it's a that that's almost a statement that lends itself to the we're trying to get guys to want to be here, and and he's all in. He's all in 100. percent He 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 has a, a a reasonable number, and I suspect he could have had a a better a better financial picture somewhere else. He said, "I'm all in. I want to stay." And, um, you know, that's really, uh, it's priceless. And to have a commitment from a guy like that with everything that he, he leaves out on the ice, uh, it, it's encouraging. You still have a couple players that haven't signed yet, uh, some of your free agents, Stellars, Tarasenko, whatever. 
Uh, not Stolarz. I did it again. Uh, Lawrence, I do the same thing, yeah, Lorenz. Yeah. You put a Z in there, you yeah, think you'd say Zito. They, got, they came here on the same day. Um, <laughs> yeah, Lawrence. So anything on those guys? We're, we're working through it, and I, we haven't ruled anything out. It's just sort of we get through the process. It's a strange day. Um, there's been more discussion, at least from our part, between and among the teams than ever before. So um, that's, a, that's a different twist on the, on the equation. And you got two new forwards. Um, what are your thoughts there? Um, obviously good numbers, but do you think they slot in right on the fourth line? Or what are you thinking? You know, you never just want to say that's what your limits. But what we want to do is keep keep going, keep evolving, right? Guys get paid. And and everybody knows, right? It's I mean, just look at look at Tampa, right? They if you do well, you get paid. And then you can't keep everybody and, and guys move on and they um, so we're trying to get other people in here who can contribute, who are good people, who are good team guys. And so AJ Greer and uh Thomas Noshek um, fit in. Uh, they have flexibility, they have a little grit, they have hockey sense, they can play a lot of different roles. And, uh, and that's what we're trying to do, to grow there. I'm sorry. Is, it, is it different when you're calling the team, when, when you're calling other teams and talking to other teams, is it a different dynamic when you're the president and GM of the Stanley Cup champion as opposed to, because in, in theory, those 31 teams are helped, they're, they're, every one of them is chasing you now. And no one's going to go out of their way to help out the Florida Panthers ever. Is it difficult to have conversations with teams about what about this guy when? I don't know. I mean, it. it I haven't noticed it. Um, what you will notice, and we do the same thing, is is uh, you'll hear the phrase, "another cup in the room," right? So somebody who knows, somebody who's been through it, and and for those of you who were with us through last year. Um, I don't know. Is there anybody who doesn't think that that experience didn't lend itself to supporting and actually helping this year's experience? And so now you take these guys and wherever they go, wherever they end up, you know, oh, we're in one. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Right? Stay the course. Right? Like, we did it. We did it. Right? I know. I've experienced it. It's not easy. It's not supposed to be easy. Um, so... From that standpoint, I think that the players become more coveted. Um, and uh, I, I don't know about the, the team to team interaction. It's right with the salary cap right now, and then the supply and the demand of the players, it, it's almost a secondary thing. It's, it's just trying to fit the square into the square hole. And you can have a more valuable triangle, but you need a square. <laughs> and, and it's. Uh, I tell a story about trades where it's not always about the trade, but it's about the result. So you may have a situation where you, you're in the city and you have a ski chalet in the mountains. And your dream is to have your, your seven best friends come for a ski weekend. And they show up and it's awesome. It's Thursday night, you're going up to ski Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And you have four Maseratis, two, two guys in each car, and you're going there. And a blizzard comes. That's it. Your dream you can't go. You can't drive in the snow. I don't know that for sure, right? They're, ra they're race car Maseratis that you can't drive in the snow. Um, and the neighbor says, you know, I got four SUVs. You want to trade? Absolutely. And you lost the trade. You got killed on the trade, right? But you had your weekend. And so that's, that's almost where we are now with regard to uh, personnel acquisitions trades it's like you're trying to to put the puzzle together when you talk about putting puzzle together the fact that the majority of the core is already under contract going into this how much does that help knowing the base of what you want what you've been building is here and you're like I said trying to just round out what you have the value of knowing that you're not not having to build that build that base so to speak yeah I mean it it's a big head start Right? So you, you'd say to yourself, if, if, if I can sort of twist your question a little bit, if you are not successful in getting every piece that you want to get, is, it, is the train still moving forward, right? Because the core you've built will sustain it. And, um, well, that's a hope for sure. I, I think it's the case. 
but um, we're still trying to get it right. We're still, we'll never stop trying to get the right pieces and the right people and, and plug them in. Uh, just got word Joel Quinville's been reinstated. Yeah. Um, you were is, it, is it where I think it is? It's on, the NHL just released it. Oh. It wasn't an insider, it's NHL. Yeah. You know, Did, they huh? Did they say where? Huh? Did they say where? Well, let's no, 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 no. He's he's allowed the seat. Oh, he's, okay. he's reinstated, oh. not rehired. Okay. Um, you were obviously here for all of that. Uh, just just your thoughts on on Joel being now able to 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 take a job somewhere. Yeah, it's a the the whole situation is delicate. Um, if the league has reached a point where they are comfortable, um, it it's. Uh, Trying to choose my my words carefully. Uh, you always want a good result for everybody, and and I suspect that, that that's the case. I don't know for sure, but I mean you know yeah. the man personally. That, that's yeah, the, you know. yeah, that's to you. Yeah. Right. So, um, yeah, you always want a good result for everyone. Bill, were you close to keeping of the guys that left? Was anybody? Did you have a shot at keeping any of them, or because of the when you talked about their value went so high? You really didn't have a chance to keep anybody. I don't know. I, yeah. Like the truth, I don't know, yeah. right? But but certainly there was. We had envisioned situations where, well, what if we keep this guy? What's going to happen here? What's what's likely? How how would we do this? So there were none of none of the people who left who were like, oh yeah, you just leave. We don't care. It was every every decision we made was. Well, if this, then we keep these guys. So in a perfect world, if you said to me, could I keep everybody? Yes. Right? That would, that would have been my wish. So. Bill, Anton Lundell is another guy that needs a contract, but mm -hmm. he's an RFA, so you've got a little more flexibility there. How have the talks with his camp been, and are they looking for something more long-term or a bridge deal? Um, well, I, I won't talk about the discussions, but Anton's a guy that um, obviously we – we, we like a lot, and um, uh, we, you know we want to keep them here. So, and this isn't a contract question, but right now with with Stellars or Lawrence whatever, mm -hmm. going to Toronto, um, Spencer Knight. Um, the plan right now is Bob and Knight next year. Uh, the, the way it looks right this second. Yeah. So, as is the case with so many of the. I guess you could say vacancies or holes where people move forward and move on. Um, particularly on July 1st, it's it's a fluid situation. So I can tell you, Sasha, he's in. Anybody with a no move, they're in. I don't know. I mean, I, I can't commit to, to anybody. I can't commit, you know, it, it, it's, it, it's too hard right now. Right. Um, I can tell you, uh, and I'll kind of reference what I just said, there's not a guy that I'm, I'd like to get not be here. Right. So, but the confidence, their confidence level with with what he did this year in Charlotte and oh yeah, spent two I months have, with you. you I did. have confidence in Spence. I it's never, never waver. Thanks, everyone. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. Can I ask you one thing?